Hello guys and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and shared poems with everyone in a different sort of way. We're all preparing for the festival and we decided to try presenting it in front of everyone else. And it went pretty well. Uh, but we've come in the next day, we're at the start of chapter 3 now. And Sayori just seems a bit sad, so we're just wondering what's going on there. And now we're going to go ahead and continue on, presumably share poems. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I know it, everything is back to normal. Everyone goes to retrieve their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica, and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was talking about with Sayori. Alright, poem sharing time. We'll just go in the order we've always gone in. Sayori. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, MC. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Eh? Of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, MC? I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki. But in the end... Yeah. I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait, of course I do, but that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress him. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you, but we have a wavelength or something, and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. Sometimes it's just easier to write when I'm thinking about you. Sayori? N no MC, I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori! I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori. I've probably never said this before. But I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what'll cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, MC. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. S sayori tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Now into Natsuki and Yuri. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? N no, gross! It's not like I care. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you just ended up scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Glugh! Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh? Maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was... just joking. Oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? It seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki ho Oh, crap. Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing ever happened. 
<clears throat> this poem is called I'll Be Your Beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But, I, but today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail, set you free in my windy sail, and remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be by your side, your own beach, your own escape, You'll learn to love yourself again. It's great. Yeah, I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice me message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. So you decided to write about the beach first and then came up with the message later? Yeah, well, it's only because of what happened yesterday. I mean, after Yuri and I realized that we kind of wrote about the same thing, she wanted to pick a topic and have us both write about it or whatever. Ugh, you can really see you're doing that too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. A at the very least, it was good practice. Who should I show my poem to next? Yuri! Oh, right. She's still depressed. Yuri doesn't look too enthusiastic about spending time with me. I guess if she changes your mind, she'll come to me. But I should leave her be for now. So yeah, it just completely skips any dialogue that you get to have with the character. It really sucks. And it makes sense, of course, on the Natsuki and Yuri routes, because you're trying to impress one, and then the other one is like, Oh, I don't like that you're trying to impress that girl, so I'm just gonna not talk to you. But when you're going down the Sayori route, it kind of just sucks, because I'm not really counting how I'm doing in terms of the points for the other girls, just for Sayori. And so, I kind of just miss out on stuff. And also, one thing that I should probably quickly mention is that for Yuri and Natsuki, if you go down their routes, during this day when you share poems, you'll get a secret poem for the girl that you went down the route of. And they're both really sweet poems. So if you decide to go down the routes of Natsuki or Yuri, that's just something to look out for. Anyway, there's just Monica left, so let's go ahead and click on her. Hi, MC. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing, but performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Ah, uh, so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other's every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? I guess you could say that. Although we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing her as much of her this past year. But since I joined the club, we've been spending a lot of time together again. I see, I see. That reminds me, about how Sayori's been a little bit off today. Yeah? Did she tell you something? Ah, uh, well... MC, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Uh, of course not! I've been treating her like I always do. Alright, just making sure. I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her, so keep an eye on her. Sour has been acting so much happier ever, ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. 
Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Uh, alright. <clears throat> this poem is called The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains, the last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day, the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are, sort of thing, are the sort of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put that much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. Seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find, if you find other people enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it will make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out- Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. <laughs> Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing that's different is that Sayori isn't here. Ah, it seems that you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please, show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. No! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second, she's the kind- she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri of all people? Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything's fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them, in different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? 
Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all of the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be making me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh... Um... Guys! Can you help me come up with something for Yuri? <laughs> I... I'm useless. N no and that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. N now Natsuki's pouting too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder when on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should m make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that, I... I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, MC. The one who's truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really be appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one, one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind with a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. MC may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could, could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for MC to... What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to MC to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten a chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... He literally just said, I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. MC, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. Heh. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course I'm going to go with... Well, even though they're telling us to choose between Natsuki and Yuri, Sayori is still our friend, and she is seeming to have be having a bit of trouble recently, so... Let's try to go with her. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez, do you really hate us that much? N no Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Well, technically, if I decide to hang out with Monica, then I'll technically also be hanging out with Sayori. Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay, you picked me! Hold on one second. Y yeah Mon Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. Eh? But I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But MC was the one who... Uh... That doesn't matter. You were the one who scared, who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica. You're supposed to be make responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with this decision. Ulterior motives? What are you saying, Yuri? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That's completely false, Monica. Yeah, we have a lot of work to do, you know. We won't do as good a job if you make us work alone. Uh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh, 
So are you just going to do the right thing, President? Okay, okay. I get it. Uh, it's technically most logical for MC to help one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Do you have a preference, MC? So for this one, uh, you have to choose between Natsuki and Yuri. I'll go ahead and go with Yuri, and my reasoning for that is A, we've seen the least out of her because she hated our poems so much that she just decided not to spend time with us on days two and three, or chapters two and three, rather. And also, like previously stated, Natsuki can already handle the baking, and I feel bad for Yuri just because, you know, she was just kind of left with the dirty work. Just the first thing that Monica could think of, so I'll go with her. Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you- Natsuki? I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no I was just saying- Ugh. So, you'll be helping Yuri then, MC? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things, so I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear! Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word, but I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you, do you feel the same way, MC? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Natsuki! What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no That's not what I meant at all. Uh... Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why MC picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea, and nothing that I do will ever comp- for the event will ever compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kinda surprised, though. Why? Um... Well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I, I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always ke helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kinda appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ah, I believe in you. Y yeah I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today, so I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Indeed, let's get out of here. In Meaning, let's get out of this episode. We've been going on for a bit long now, so let's go ahead and end this, end this off. Thank you guys so much for watching, and in the next episode, we're going to go ahead and hang out with Yuri and see what we get to do with her. We're going to try to design all of the atmospheric parts of the of our part of the festival, and I'm sure it's going to be tons of fun. So, hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye!